Mountain gorillas are as fascinated by us as we are by them. You can see like the small juveniles, we nickname them, them teenagers. So when they see tourists, they are very curious. They just want to pound on the chest. Just It's like saying, good morning, how are you? So they are very like, they connect themselves to the tourists and it's really wonderful because most of them are born seeing tourists. I think they are smart. My favorite part of being a park guide, we host different people from all over the world. Uh, we share the information about the park, about the mountain gorillas, about the local community, also about our country. From, from the 60s uh, towards the end of the 70s, mountain gorillas were an endangered species. So with the conservation efforts, so far we have around 880 in the whole of the Virunga Massif. That means Rwanda, Uganda and uh, DRC. It's extremely dangerous. It can have a, a very serious impact on the, on the survival of this species. And I think if it, we are not putting so much effort into this, people will not get such, such a profound interest to come to see the gorillas. Through this, it has created like a, an alarming message. So people are alarmed, they know why. And when they see the mountain gorillas, how the population has been increasing, throughout the last 30 years. People now understand that this is very real. If we conserve the mountain gorillas, we are not just conserving the gorillas. We are also impacting the local community. We are changing their lives on the development and economic levels. It's extremely, very, very important to do that. If we don't do it, there is nothing. Tourists cannot visit a non-existent park. Uh, if had we done conservation, uh, had we done or had we invested in conservation efforts for all the, the mountain gorillas, we will not be where we are right now. Just think about it if 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, your grandchild is asking you, so you mean 50 years ago there were gorillas? I can only see them in the pictures. So what this means is that if we don't conserve now and the near future, there won't be any life, there won't be any wildlife. And it will impact seriously on the ecosystem. There there are three conservation projects that we will raise funds for. The first one is the Mountain Gorilla Skeleton Project. The whole idea of this project is to have an establishment where uh, we will create a database of all the Mountain Gorilla Skeleton. It also could pass for a museum where kids or even researchers can go and find out about different sort of, of uh, social life and the life of the of the mountain gorillas through uh, uh, the skeleton. Skeletons are really important. We can obtain a lot of information that we can we don't know from the living gorillas. We can analyze different aspects that we can uh, we cannot do it with the living gorillas. For example, uh, analyzing the teeth, the growth of the teeth. We can check uh, how is the life history, for example, for a particular individual. Analyzing many many different aspects. So it's it's really important to keep analyzing the bones once these gorillas are dead and then we can obtain much more information from the bones that we never can get it from the living gorillas. Ideally we could have more tools and more technology and besides the bones by themselves just offer these services to, to many researchers in the world. That, that, that would be great. You have to know what you have done with the gorillas. You have to predict the gorillas and the gorillas kugira ngo babashe kurushaho kubungabunga ingagi bashingiye barebye bakareba myaka yagiye shize se imitego zagendaga zibura nayo igende igabanuka cyangwa se iriyongera kuko ibyo byose dushobora kubibona dushingiye kuri ya magufwa tukamenya ese yari yaravunitse yari yarafashwe mu mutego ibyo rero bifasha aba decision maker gushyiraho ingamba zo ku kugabanya ya mitego cyangwa se bakavuga bati imitego akakanya yaragabanutse cyangwa se iri kwiyongera reka dufate izindi mezire 
Quit is in a, it's a celebration of conservation efforts, uh, mainly to celebrate the conservation efforts done by the local community. Linking the cultural aspect of Quitizina is a way to have that connection with the local communities. They need to understand that it's connected to our culture. Our culture is unique, um, so what better way of using uh, uh, Quitizina or conservation efforts than using uh, culture as a platform? Conservation is everyone's business.